This is Dot Easy Graham coming to you with another video. Today we're going to be showing you a little more of the new editor within WordPress, specifically the block editor. Some of you may have tried this already, some of you may not have. This does have a lot of new features to it, which is kind of nice to try. It does look like it's something they're going to keep working on, so they'll definitely be adding more features in the future, which will be nice. But we're going to show you some of the blocks and different things you can do with this in case you're just setting up a new WordPress site and haven't tried it before as well as those of you who want to give it a try who have been familiar with using other types of editors like uh, Divi or Page Builder or other different plugins that are available. I'm going to show you a couple different things you can do with it, some of the more interesting newer blocks you can use as well. So as you can see here we've got a new post, just nothing on it, brand new whatsoever. So the first thing you want to do when you create a new page or a new post whenever you're within the new editor is to go through an actual add a title because this will create the page and actually save it in the system once there's actually a page name to it. So we're going to just call this test page here, just something simple and easy to do. And with that we can start working on it. Now, whenever you're adding any kind of block here, there's a couple different ways to add it. You can either use the option at the top here, which will just add a block underneath the last one you're working on. You also have the ability to click on the plus here, which will add a block directly onto the page as well. You can also see there's a couple of icons here. These are some of the more common blocks, like an image or a heading and then quotation. So these are different couple options you can do to add it in there. You can even see you can add a block between these two if you want to add one in there as well, if you already have a couple blocks set up. So there's a couple different ways to go through and actually add this in here. And whenever you click on the plus symbol, it's going to ask you what type of block you want to do. Now this is based on whatever type of block you regularly try and use or what you're trying to do with the page. You can set up a paragraph, an image, code, everything you can pretty much do in the older editor, you can do in this editor as well. It just now has to select which of the groups you're looking for. The most used ones are just the most commonly used ones, but they're actually redone between all the different ones here. So you can choose between an inline element, which allows you, like it says, to add an inline image to something you already have set up there. The common blocks are the ones you'll use most of the time, paragraphed images, you can do audio, video, and files if you're setting those up, a gallery if you want to do one as well, headings for your pages. So you'll find most of the time you're setting up and using within this one here. If you enjoy doing more of the coding yourself, the formatting is going to be your tab to use. You'll see there's code as well as custom HTML. So you'll find yourself often coming into here. You can also set up a table through here as well. So it's a good idea to come in here if you prefer to work with the actual code itself. The on elements are more of changing the style itself. The columns one is particularly useful because this allows you to actually break up and have a left and right side to your page. So it's very, very helpful to do if you want to have more of a separator. The median text lets you alternate as well so you can have, say, like a picture and text beside each other. As the editor itself, well, you can drag and round drag and drop things up and down. Usually you're not able to go left side, right side without adding some kind of lit you know, element to actually allow a left and a right side to be there. So do just keep that in mind. The widgets here are more of some of the things like short codes if you're familiar with them. Your widgets may look different depending on if you have plugins or other things set up here. So this will expand and change. Same as embeds will also do that as well. Uh, these are just some of the standard ones like YouTube, things from WordPress, Spotify, so there's a whole bunch of different ones here. So these are your third party services, like things you're linking to somewhere else. So you can use the blocks here for that. You may also have another one below embeds. This generally happens to be the custom themes or custom plugins you have set up. So you may see other ones here that are under that. That'll vary heavily. In this case here, we're just using pretty standalone installation of WordPress, so you're not going to see any here. But we're going to show you a couple of the ones here itself just to give you an idea of what to look for. So in this case here we're going to start off with a common block, just some of the common ones. So you can go a paragraph. This is just typing normal text. And then you can see you've got the options like normal so you can align these, you can bold italic. If you click on this here you can actually get a couple more options so you can actually hide this if you don't want it to be visible anymore. You can duplicate it, create a second version of it. The big important ones here are definitely the edit as HTML, so you can actually modify the raw code once you've actually added it in there if you want. The other big one is this one called add a re to reusable block. This allows you to actually create a special name for it, and this allows you to recreate it as many times as you want. So you can actually just select that block. It's like making your own custom block and being able to add that in here. 
So in this case here, if we go through and add another option here, we're just going to add an image, say. And if we go to the media library, we can try and grab a random image here. We'll just use the .easy logo. And as you can see, we've got that set up. If we set that to a reusable one here, we can say image reusable and just save that here. And then what we can do is if we can go to add here, you'll see there's all the different options as before. And you'll also see now there's the reusable option below. It's been added below embeds. And if we click on this, it'll add the exact same thing itself. So any block that you create, you can mark it as reusable and you can go through and actually name it. This is super helpful for a lot of pages. Say if you want to keep recreating the same heading image or a certain set of text, say like a photo or something like that. So you can set these up easily to very easily just recreate a whole bunch of content within the sites. So it is one of the newer features, which is definitely a lot more nicer to do. Whenever you have anything set up, you can always use this little icon here. You can click on it and then you can drag and drop things different places. You'll see there's this little blue line that appears when you're in the right location. This lets you know where it's going to be falling below. So if we move it up here, for instance, there we go. The text is now below. So you do want to use that blue line as a little divider to let you know where things are being added into. If you want to say add some layouting here, so formatting here, we're going to add a column. See there's now a left column and now there's a right column. So this is how you can add like a left and a right side to the page, otherwise normally you can't. There's no real drag and drop option unfortunately. Once you've got the columns in here though, you can definitely add content to the actual column. So you can actually drop it into these different ones here. So you do have the option of say, let's add just something here that some of the ones you can't actually add in here um, images tend to be a little large so it doesn't always let them add in there so do keep that in mind if we do look here let's go just common and let's select a file here if we select a file we can see it's actually giving us the option to put it in here so you can see in this case here it's added it above it but it's still in the actual column so it does keep that here so you can set this to create a left and right side to the page very easily and you can see it's already starting to have a very block format so you've got the heading here you've got a starter image you've got a file we have here in this case you've got a left piece where you've got a bunch of text you're going to be typing you've got a little bit below the file you're going to be adding here you've got another paragraph below and then an image and you can see very easily, you can create a page without too much real work to it. It does allow you to very easily go through and select things, anything to either upload or media library out of it. And you can very easily reuse anything you want to. You can even mark everything on the page as a reusable block and then just literally copy and paste it across. So it is very nice to use compared to the older editor if you have used that before. It definitely has a long way to go. I would like to see personally them allow you to build for it around to the base left and right but they do have columns and some other things but it is a brand new editor so they are going to keep working on it there are some bugs here and there which you run into just things where they may not appear properly like when you're dragging up and down make sure you do look for that blue line otherwise you may not actually move it for you so just do keep that in mind if you do find anything you can always report it to wordpress itself so that they can help update it and I'm sure there will be future updates for it as well. But we just wanted to show you some different items for it and how you can quickly kind of lay out your page and start to build it using the page editor. We just wanted to get this to you guys. If you have any questions or anything else that you'd like to see in terms of videos, you can leave it in the comments as well. And like the video if you'd like us to bring more videos as well. If you have any questions, you can always contact our support as well. Thank you for watching.